어릴 때 원했던 어른이 되나 Thought I found Oh why she's mine 너제가 달렸구나 So my last vlog, I've already been to Seoul and I went to Busan, but this is the last stretch of the holiday. And there's still so much to do, so I'm gonna get the day started, but this is the hotel that I'm staying at. This place is called Tong Tong Petite Hotel. I'm currently on the sixth floor, which is their rooftop, and it's located in Tong No. Look at this stunning view. tour this place is super super tiny i thought it was perfect for solo travel especially solo travel as a female and it's just cute and comfortable so. and this is my little room it's got a little lounge area at the bottom it's got a tv it even has a little massage situation going don't mind my luggage um and then up here is obviously the bed it's quite comfortable as well it's just a little vanity section there's a temple right in front of my room um and then over here is the bathroom you get your own bathroom which is really really cool super super spacious look at this Wah! this is the first floor of the hotel behind me is a little cafe and then i believe down here is a little lounge like how cute is this for a hotel and this is the front of the hotel but anyways let's go explore we're gonna be staying around this area for the day because I haven't been able to explore this area yet just yet. I'm excited. This is Chongna and it's looking a lot more local, a lot more traditional, which I really like. But the first stop is a Hanok cafe. It's really, really popular on social media. So. Good morning, wait in line as they make our drinks but it's definitely got a lot more busier since. I definitely understand the hype about Cafe Onion. It's like so pretty and it's just a good vibe, good music. Luckily there was not a huge lineup when I went there. But Anyways, I'm walking to Gyeongbokgung Palace now. We made it. It's cool because to the left is like city and then to the right is the entire Gyeongbokgung Palace. ticket for like 3,000 won but it's so cool this is the main palace of the Joseon dynasty which is insane this place is in the northern part of Seoul and you can see like the mountains and the horizon it's so cool <laughs> FYI, 
why this place is massive it just keeps going down and there are so many cool spots like this to take photos everyone seems to be grouped up at the front for obvious reasons but just know there are so many cool spots to take photos and it's so much more quiet here look This lake is frozen. This place is filled with people taking photos. You gotta be super quiet because these houses are actually residential houses. Okay, I've come down this alleyway. So many restaurants all along. These little alleyways, it's so cool. I'm gonna eat here, Doma. Can I please uh, get a cafe latte, a hot, and can I get oat milk, please? With oat milk? Yes, please. We've got 30 minutes before we have to leave. I'm going to rest as much as possible. I've been on the go, go, go this entire trip. Um, it's been so good, but my knees are giving. They are so sore. I don't know what's wrong with me. The fact that this hotel has this little massager is like a luxury I didn't know I needed. I think every hotel should have it, but I also forgot to mention that when I arrived here in Chongnu, I actually made my way to the DDP, Dongdaemun. It seems like there are a bunch of shopping malls. I know there's an underground shopping mall there, but I didn't go. I specifically went there to go to the Miglio shopping center because up the top there was this massive nail mall. I grabbed a few things, but I also got some shoes, which I wasn't expecting. The first five floors are like wholesale markets. I would say the average price for shoes there was around 20 to $30. So that's what I did last night. Tonight, though we're going back to Hongdae because I have a hair appointment booked. Should I color my hair is the real question. I don't know if I should be bold and just do something different. I have not dyed my hair in years. Um, so I'm going to suss that out. I do have a color and cut booked but I do want to get a consultation before I do anything major so <laughs> I'm a bit conflicted. Okay we're in Hongdae. It's so nice to see it during the day because the last time I was here was at night time. We're here. This is the Sunsiki main branch in Hongdae. It's just off the main street over there, so this is the hair before. I don't know what it looks do. so cool inside. I'm so excited for this. Uh, this is for the price, mm -hmm. and you can choose the hair treatment because mm -hmm. hair color it can make damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, the service here is so good. Look, they give you like a little care package with a phone charger which I was so worried about and I just ordered an Americano ice so I am going with a color and cut I have decided to go for actually I won't tell you the color that I'm going for you'll just see but the pricing here is pretty amazing you get a cut a color and I'm getting a little mini treatment like the cheapest treatment here and it's only gonna be like 260 a dark brown red the service there was amazing my hairdresser's name was bible Just so much attention to detail with like the little cookies the drink the amenity pack it's a vibe in there the music's good so like just 10 out of 10 for experience and then even my hair is exactly how i wanted it and they walk out every customer to the elevator like they'll wait with you 
and they walk you out and they like say bye, like just so so nice, such good service soon. Is this better lighting? Can we see? I asked for a dark brown red because I didn't want it to be like fully red obviously. It'd be cool to see it tomorrow in the sunlight but you get the gist. Since we're in Hongbe, I might as well do some last minute shopping. Okay, so it's 10 p.m. now. I have not eaten my dinner, so guess where we're going to go eat? This place is 24 hour ramen convenience store. Self serve. I could not vlog in there at all. It was so busy. I walked in, it was empty. And then I head back downstairs and it was packed. Like people were even waiting for people to leave so that they could take a seat. And it was really, really chaotic. I wonder if it's because it's a weekend. So like everyone's like out and about on the weekend and then wanting a late night ramen snack. So that's probably why. Today is my second to last day in Seoul. It's coming to an end. No! Can you see the red in my hair in the natural light? Very subtle. I wanted it to kind of look brown, but then when you look closer, it's actually red. But anyways, I'm having a bit of a later start today. I don't really have a set plan. I made sure to like keep the last two days free. But I know, we'll see. We'll see what we get up to. But first, it's bricky. I'm gonna try to find a little cafe, but when in Iksondong, you don't take these main streets, you go into these little alleyways. French toast sure. and a lemon muscat. Uh -huh. That's it. That's it. So blueberry cream cheese with lemon muscat. Toasted on the outside and then like gooey on the inside. I've decided I'm gonna go to Yongsanggi today. I'm gonna go to Hanamdong. It's near the Itaewon area. I went to the area during the night time, so it'll be nice to see it during the day. First train. This is how I've been traveling around Seoul this whole time by subway. Naver map is the best. Major tip is to download the Naver app Oops, before your trip and take the time to pin everything because not everything can be found using English. Um, you may have to do some research and try to find Hangul or the Korean word. Once you know where you're going, it tells you exactly what to do. So, for example, today it said get on at Cheongno station. Ujiro station bound and if you see up here this is Ujiro station bound you will have to transfer stations a lot of the time so you can see the blue line is line five and then that is it brown that like ready brown is line six to the second place so we do have to make a transfer at one point but it's super super easy i just got off and now i have to transfer to line six
I've just been walking around Hanamdong. There's a lot of um, fancy boutiques like this and coffee shops like this. I've just woken up. <laughs> I'm ready to go back out. I feel like it's that part of the trip where all of like the walking and everything is catching up to me and because I know I'm leaving that I'm kind of more laxed at the moment. But I'm awake now and I'm gonna go out just to explore Iksandong. Those little alleyways, I wanna go... Wait, I didn't do this right. <laughs> I didn't get to explore Hanam Dong as much as I wanted to but it was recommended by the receptionist at the hairdressers. She was from New Zealand, she was so nice and we were just chatting and she recommended Hanam Dong. I could tell this is where the people go. Super like, trendy, everyone there is super fashionable and there was just a lot of young young people so I feel like Hanam Dong is a hip place in that sense. It is quite like affluent. <laughs> This neighborhood has all of these restaurants in the tents and it feels like I'm in a K-drum, it's so cool. We go to New Jersey, your icing, I'll be worried. I got so red I had to. I had to get it again before I leave. I came to sit under the tree. Um, you need to grab a coffee in order to sit here. <laughs> I'm the only one here. I need to eat a proper dinner, but I couldn't help myself when I walked past this. Also, this is not the biggest coffee cup you've ever seen. Been a minute. I just got back to the hotel. I did go to Myeongdong and did some last minute shopping because it's my last night. I'm so sorry I didn't vlog because my phone ran out of storage and I didn't bring my camera. So I got this. Of course, I had to go to Olive Young. Olive Young is the best for skincare here in South Korea. Make sure you get like the twin packs because they're so much cheaper and you know you can give one away. Toner pads, of course. And then I just got some tops. Not too crazy, but if you want a haul, I might do one in the next video. It's a bit hectic in here. I'm in the middle of packing, but it's so late right now. It's 12:20. I am not tired but it's probably because I had that three hour nap but I thought I'm a bit hungry so I'm gonna go to a 7-eleven and have a full 7-eleven in South Korea experience because the 7-elevens here are so good <laughs> Going with the rosé. I have not tried this yet. I've been wanting to so. Also fun fact, I learned how to read Hangul like a year ago. Pul dak pok um myeon? I don't know. But I don't necessarily understand a lot of the words yet. I'm trying to learn but... I am waiting for the noodles to cook. And I've got my ice cup drink. I think I came on a bad day to be honest because it is a Sunday and everything <laughs> seems to be closed. This place was heavily industrial and it's now turned into like a trendy place with a bunch of restaurants and cafes. It definitely has all the touches of being an industrial area. Adds to the experience. I really like it. Cafe, industrial shop. <laughs> 
I believe this place right here is one of the most popular restaurants here in Mulle. It's very popular. Look how nice and cozy it is. This is definitely cool if you're looking for something different in South Korea than Mole. But I'm gonna go now because like South Korea. <laughs> Thank you. 